three days later. Better save first. So. And I believe we should. We'll probably do Abigail's stuff first. What's up here? Oh, a chest. Just money? Okay. thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. <laughs> Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. To be honest, though, tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. Yeah. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate... Gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> oh. God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Come on! Scat! Shh. It's high noon. Jesus Christ. Damn crows. Okay, we might have to get some more chewing tobacco in. It's high noon. I can't aim that high. Oh. Okay then. Finally. How about that stew? Where are the birds? There's a fuck ton of well, there's a fuck ton of dead birds up there, but oh, there's a whole ton of them here. Make a few dollars from that. Hey Jack, what's up? A 
we'll do another one of our girls. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarlane. She's a friend. Mm. <laughs> when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. <laughs> Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks. Stop. Hmm. Emergency. Stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Can you help? Stop. Not exactly the most romantic request, now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. <laughs> okay. Jesus, Uncle's Hurry getting back, shitted on. And John, what's she like? Uh, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. <laughs> Get in the wagon. What's up? Maybe I should meet this McFarlane woman. Well, come on, man. Let's get going. Yep. Come on, Boris. Let's go for a run. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while you were off supporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That no. jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This Bonnie McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal oh, shit! Whoa, no. shit! Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marston. Oh yeah, Boris is behind us. I miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. Oh, no, 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 She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. Come on. Found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Those folks were left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't Bolton. take so kindly to me visiting on and down. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> he was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way Shit. to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe, but they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. Yep. You knew the truth, no, 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 no. and they hated you for it. Oh my god, I think this wagon's falling apart. Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. <laughs> no, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Oh shit, I think I ran over some chickens. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland. I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable old goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. 
You should meet my father. <laughs> People can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. That is true. We have been at taverns, mostly eating most food. Homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't it, Mr. Farland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so too. I never <laughs> felt so outnumbered. <laughs> So what now? Guess we gotta go back, of course. So that was the famous Bonnie. That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing, the perfect rancher's wife. If I have saw one. I already got a oh, rancher's shit. wife. I'm only teasing. I like her, and I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. <laughs> the McFarlands are good people. She did blush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. You clearly have one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marston. Oh, shit. That's quite a ranch they got there. That'll be us someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? Outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really Hopefully. believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? Yeah, she's got it right there. I did what they asked. And that's it? A life proud for Gillen? We're back together, ain't we? Until they decide you owe them something else. Shit. Sometimes I think I was a stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe yeah. Josh, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are, than they were. Maybe we can't change. But we gotta try, for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times. It's better than going back to what we were. Jack Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna I can't be blame him. Right. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe, normal even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Dutch? They were his family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our yeah. best to protect him. Come on, John. Can't blame him. He saw things no boy should see. And that is true. See, it's a pleasant ride and all, but I'd like to get back sometime today. Well, now we got a chance to make it right. Well, here we are. Oh. We did good today, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. All right, we better deal with Jack now.
family member's not here right now. I'll come back later. Hello my fellow viewers, my name is Ren the Multiviewer, and if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Also, leave a comment or some feedback down below as every little bit helps the channel. And as always, have a good one my viewers.